Hi, first grade. This week, we are going back to addition. Two weeks ago, we learned a kind of addition called result unknown. And that means that we're given two numbers and we're putting them together to make a bigger number. If I have four candies in my hand and my mom gave me two more, four plus two equals a bigger number. I had four and I got more. I got more candy in my hand. So now I have six candies. I had to figure out the result from adding more to my hand. This week, we're learning a kind of addition that is called change unknown, which means if we start with a number and something is added to it, but we don't know how much is added, we're given a new number. This time, if I have four candies in my hand and mom gave me some more, but I don't know how many more she's adding, now I have six candies. I have to figure out the change. Instead of figuring out the result, I'm figuring out how many she added. Okay, four plus an amount equals six. We know that that's two. You might be thinking of what we learned about last week. I'm making a connection. Are you making a connection to something we learned last week? Last week, we were learning subtraction and we learned change unknown subtraction. So instead, last week we were getting a number and we were taking away from that number. This week, we're adding to the number that we start with. So you're gonna see some connections today to stuff that we learned last week. Let's look at our strategy that we are going to use today to help us solve change unknown addition problems. We are going to use base, or I'm sorry, tens frames to help us solve change unknown addition problems. I love using tens frames because it helps me get a visual of what I am working on. Okay, so watch me use this tens frame or tens frames to help me solve this addition problem. My problem is eight plus blank equals 12. I have eight pieces of paper and I needed more, so I went and got some more. I don't know how many though. Now I have 12 pieces of paper. How many more pieces of paper did I get when I grabbed a stack? Okay, I'm gonna use my double-sided counters to help me figure out my missing number. I'm starting with eight, so I'm gonna put eight red counters down. Okay, there's eight. Eight pieces of paper. I added more paper to my stack and now I have 12. Okay, so now I'm gonna put yellow counters down and count up until I get to the number 12. I'm gonna start at eight and count up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. The red counters represent the amount of paper I started with. And the yellow counters are the amount of paper that I added to my stack. When I added more, this is how many more I added. So to figure out my missing number, all I have to do is count my yellow counters. Ready? One, two, three, four. Show me with your fingers. That's right. I got four more pieces of paper. One, two, three, four. Eight plus four equals 12. Great job. Let's look at another example of using our 10 frames to solve change unknown addition problems. This problem is 11 plus blank equals 20. I had 11 pencils, 11 pencils. And I wanted to sharpen some more pencils. I just wanted some more. So now I have 20 pencils after sharpening more. How many pencils did I add to my stack? Okay, my number that I'm starting with is what? Can you say it out loud? What number pencils did I start with? 
pencils before I added any. That's right, I started with 11 pencils. It's my first number. So I need to put 11 red counters down. Almost there. There's a full tens frame, 10, 11. There's my 11 pieces of paper. Now, I need to get all the way up to 20. So I'm gonna add yellow counters starting at 11 until I get to 20. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. I have two full tens frames, which makes 10, 20. I started with 11 pencils and I added more. I wanted some more pencils. Now I have 20. Let's see how many more pencils I added to my stack. All I have to do is count my yellow counters. I want you to pause the video and I want you to count how many yellow counters I have because that's my missing number. Push play when you know my missing number. Okay, you should have paused the video and counted my yellow counters. The amount of yellow you count is how many pencils I added to my stack of 11. So let's see, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you think it was nine too? You guys are so smart. I started with 11 pencils and I got, I added more and now I have 20. I used red and yellow counters to help me figure out how many pencils I added to my stack. Let's do one more problem together before you guys try it on your own. I have 15 red flowers, 15 red flowers, and my sister gave me a few more flowers. Now I have 17 red flowers. How many flowers did my sister give me? Okay, how many counters do I need to put down in red? My starting number. That's right, 15. Let's put down 15. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna keep putting them down until I get to 15. I know I'm gonna need at least one tens frame full. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh, perfect amount, 15. This is how many flowers I had. And then my sister gave me more. Now I have 17. How many counters do I need to add to make 17? If I start at 15, how many more do you think I need to add? Well, I'll start at 15 and then keep going until I get to 17. 15, 16, 17. What's my missing number? Two, you're so right. 15 plus two equals 17. Today, you're going to be practicing using tens frames and your double-sided counters, or another kind of manipulative if you lost yours, to solve change unknown addition problems. Have fun!